Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Reagan, if you are new here. All right, so I got this idea because I saw um, Kat, Naturally Beautiful Girl's Instagram post where she talked about all of the pink skincare she had. And I was looking at my skincare and I realized, wow, I have quite a bit of pink skincare as well. So shout out to her. Um, that's what inspired this video. I just decided from her post that I wanted to sit down and do a full skincare routine using pink skincare. A lot of it is more millennial baby pink, which is kind of the thing, I guess. Um, so yeah, let's just uh, roll in and start putting this stuff on my face. All right, so the first product that I have is the Paakai. This we got in the Putty War Box. It's a Hanua Hawaiian skincare product. So this is their cleansing cream. One of the things I was pretty impressed with with this product, I use quite a few pumps, is it's pretty effective at removing makeup. And I'm actually wearing a pretty heavy base and it's pretty effective at removing mascara as well. I've just been very impressed with it because usually I don't like to use cream products at night because they don't remove makeup very well. But this one I've actually been able to use. So I always use cream cleansers as a more dry cleanser because I just feel like when they're dry, they're more effective at removing oil and makeup and I would say dirt, but that's that's not, I'm not trying to remove dirt from my face. I'm going to go rinse my face off, but as you can see, it really has broken down my mascara and my foundation and everything. So I'm pretty impressed with that. I'm really, really impressed with that cleanser and how it did really rinse my face clean. I didn't use anything but that and it was so effective at removing my makeup. I'm actually kind of shocked by that and I have been shocked. I was shocked by it when I first used it, let's be real. But now I just know and I've just been kind of surprised. What they have to say about the cleanser, I have my phone right here. It uses Hawaiian salt and then hibiscus to create a gentle daily cleanser that will leave your skin feeling soft, smooth, and hydrated. It has seaweed in it. And yeah, so I think that the pink color does come from hibiscus. That would make sense. So yeah, this was really great and I've really liked this. This was a great one to get in the petty board box as well because that box is very affordable. Okay, so now I'm going to use an exfoliant that we also got in the petty board box. So this is the French Girl Late Day Rose. So this is a powder exfoliant slash cleanser. So this has been a very beautiful product and I've really, really liked it. So what you do is you just put the powder in your hand and then add a little bit of water. So I put a little bit more water in my hand just because one thing I noticed recently whenever I use more of the French Girl product, it actually kind of foams up and I just want to show you guys that in my hand. So it kind of foams a little bit whenever you use more of the powder. So this is a vitamin C polishing powder. It has bamboo, like ground bamboo and pomegranate enzymes as well. So it has a little bit of a physical exfoliant too. So yeah, you see that? It's kind of foaming up on my face. Like the more product I use and the more water. The thing about this product, it really depends on your ratio. And I really don't usually like physical exfoliants, but this is one of my favorite ones, especially as of late. So I am going to go and wash this off. It does smell like coconut milk. Has a nice scent. I wasn't expecting the coconut milk. I thought it'd be more of a rose scent because it's called late day rose, but they actually use coconut milk. It's one of the base ingredients, just so you guys know. So while my skin's a little bit more supple, we're going to use the toner, but I'll talk about the toner in a second. I want to this just makes sense. This is usually how I do my routine. Okay, so the late day rose, just reading what they have to say, is handmade with all natural ingredients. It uses kakadu plum, which is a super fruit that contains the highest known vitamin C levels of any natural food source in the world. It works with watermelon powder to brighten skin by stimulating collagen reproduction and cell regeneration. It also has willow bark extract, which helps tone and is also an enzyme exfoliant as well. So yeah, it also uses, again, pomegranate extract and bamboo as its physical exfoliant. So I really have liked this. I would recommend it and I actually would repurchase it when I'm done with this because I've liked it that much. So what I was using on my face, 
so quickly, was the Herbal Dynamics Beauty. This is their Rose Water Calming Face Toner. So this is just supposed to soothe and calm skin with rose, green tea, chamomile, and witch hazel. It does have hyaluronic acid in it. My mom really, really likes the smell of this. I ordered her one whenever she was here last. So I just sprayed on my face like this. Kind of pat it in some and then let it air dry. And it really has kind of helped to plump the skin up, keep my skin toned and hydrated. So this does use a lot of organic ingredients. And then the pinkish color comes from red cabbage leaf extract, I'm pretty sure. Just from all the ingredients, that's what makes the most sense. So the next product I have is the Alpine Beauty. This is their Plant Genius Survival Serum. This is a very interesting serum because it's kind of shiny. So it does add a little bit of illumination, but it's nothing crazy by any means. So what they have to say about it is is that this is an all-in-one brightening serum and illuminating primer. The hydrating antioxidant rich formula helps even tone with vitamin C, bearberry leaf, and licorice root extract, while a trio of gentle exfoliants helps refine and smooth the skin surface. So this is made with azelaic, glycolic, and lactic acid to delicately exfoliate dead surface cells. It's interesting that they used azelaic in this. That is a one of the few actually acids that pregnant women can use, just so you guys know. This also does have tripeptide in it and natural moisturizers like hyaluronic acid, olive fruit, and etc. I have really liked this. It's pretty complex, actually. It's a little more complex than a lot of the serums that I've used, but it has worked decently for me and it hasn't really irritated my skin, which I was kind of surprised because it is so complex, but it is this nice baby pink color. Again, the millennial pink. All right, so last product is the Blissoma. This is their Phototonic Light Shifting Solution. So this is their SPF and moisturizer all in one. So it is again this very pink, millennial pink-ish shade. So the SPF leaves more of a satin finish to the skin. So there is niacinamide in this. Also, they use non-nano zinc oxide, sesame oil, red raspberry seed oil, which is really good for sun protection as well. I like to see that in a sunscreen like this. And then their pink tint is not a tint. It's actually astac thin. Sorry. I'm not that great at pronouncing some of this stuff. And this is a red algae ingredient grown in controlled tanks in Hawaii and produces a super pure CO2 extract. So it has a lot of antioxidants in it. It's kind of interesting. All of these pink hues do come from natural sources. They're not synthetically derived. So yeah, all of this stuff has paired really nicely together. That's one of the reasons I wanted to do this whenever I was messing around in my own bathroom. I just noticed that it does make a nice daytime skincare routine and my skin just looks really nice and kind of ready to go for the day. So guys, let me know your thoughts on this video down below. I was just trying something different in it and yeah, I hope you liked it and have a wonderful, wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world.